All right, we removed all the film from all the storefront and there's a couple of windows on that side and such. And so we're trimming a little bit of the uh, rubber off the uh, windows. And let me show you what it is that I mean by trimming. Hopefully there's a window to trim. No, there's not. Pretty much there's a sliver of plastic that we take off. I know that guys are love to remove the gaskets and do whatever. They say it's a better job or whatever. Well, in their, in, in their opinion, that's their opinion. My opinion is that if you have enough light of darkness like that on the exterior to hide your cut after you've done a trim, a sliver trim, let me see. This one's already cut out. Okay, awesome. The bottom is not cut out. Okay, so right now, the uh, shading on the outside and the inside is uh, right here is equal as you can see. If you put a limo tint here, you're gonna be able to might see a crack of light. In order to prevent that, we need to cut a sliver off this. Now, I know that some people, oh, you're a rookie. Or I'm not a rookie, I'm a professional and I'm gonna get paid for this job. I'm gonna trim a little bit of this. It's a modification. A lot of things get modified on a daily basis and nobody bats an eye, but if it's a tinter, They'll crucify him. Anyway, so we've already done this all the way around. And so I'm gonna do a sliver just for presentation purposes right here. Just this quarter. Don't go more, because the more you go, you're gonna fucking do this jaggedy and you're gonna fuck everything up. Just one little thing like that, right there. And just, just put pressure at an angle and just walk them down real quick like that. And all the way across, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, right? So my, uh assistant installer who is in training and i'm probably going to leave him here so he can do this job i'm going to show him with my manhandler over there that i created myself i do not use a film handler i call that guy the men handler over there i'm going to show you a little bit what's going on with that so we just trim this do not pull when you pull this shit goes all fucked up and everything right so just do that do this And so now you created yourself a little bit of room now so you can do your film pre-cut and install and be 100% badass and everything. I still need to cut the top. Leonel, esto no lo he cortado ni de arriba ni de abajo. Tú lo cortas. Aquí parece que todavía está bien mugroso de una cosa. So, lo, lo preparamos. Anyway, so my commercial tin tools, uh, some of them are right there. Some of them are right here. Okay, I'm going to remove my automotive here and I'm gonna put my commercial right here on the side I don't want to put him here because when I created this pouch I created him in such an efficient manner that these are out of the way and these are out of the way they're separate so this doesn't belong here because he'll touch this guy right he belongs right here where he doesn't touch anybody and you can still put this here and they're not touching so you have that and this so that's a genius design and people are like, I see people use pouches three to four at the same time to do commercial tinning. Guys, it's commercial tinning. You're not electricians fucking downing wires and all that kind of stuff. Pouch, application squeegee. I'm gonna use this one. I could use a bigger one. Um, I might use it in the video. Well, it's over here actually. All right, so I get my blade, put them here. All right, I demonstrated the slivering of the things on the windows, boom, 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 all the way around. It's done. I'm gonna go ahead and I can show you the mill slot cut, how to do it properly without fucking it all up. So here you go, my manhandler right here. Uh, horns, there it is to hold my film. A Couple of attachments I did myself here to hold stuff that you might have when you're uh, up uh if you use that as a ladder you can also use them as a ladder so i got my sprayer let me go ahead and pull this back through right here okay my other attachment here so you can put your sprayer put them any which way you want you this way or, or you're up there you can put them this way it don't matter however you want so he's going to be there just out of the way for right now um this is what I recommend in a commercial setting. People freak out on commercial settings because they think commercial is hard. It is very, very easy 
you will need some extra ladders extra stuff like this i'm gonna leave that guy alone for a little bit um this is an all-in-one and i know i built it for automotive but this is extremely handy for commercial work once you get your your uh, film installed in the corners your squeegee you know might not be able to get a little corner that's kind of like tough doesn't want to get down we'll get them done with that so this one's some small one this is a little bit bigger so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna dispense my film this is like 54 by like 42. i'm gonna dispense about on my 60 inch roll i'm gonna pull about 44 inches off of there put them to the side in a, in this commercial setting what i would really want you to do to be super efficient is to pre-cut all your film and put them in in corners like this there you go this one there you go there pre-cut and all these uh, all these sets you can put them here with tape put them in their respective uh, spots and stuff like that and always 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 start from the top because the water is going to come down and so if you start here over there if you clean this you're going to get a lot of this shit from here on the bottom so start from the top go to the bottom pre-cut all your panels and the way that it can be a one-man job and i'm sorry to say this but we are going to use a uh, pressure sensitive film that's what i have to use here and i'm going to use it and, and people say like you man i can't peel this big ass window unless i peel it over there some people myself you know we'll go get an assistant meaning like i'll get this pattern pre-cut take him way over there walk over there and uh put him backwards and then peel it and then walk him all here like Ba, 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 and, ba, ba, and there it goes i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna show you my manhandler why i designed them and the idea that i have about doing a commercial job by yourself up there down here it don't matter okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pre-cut a couple of patterns and then i'm gonna show you the other ideas of my manhandler okay gopro stop recording okay so we have this window and this window has some caulking black so i'm just going to do my very best freehand cutting on the sides uh, i removed some of the tar that was on here so i made a little bit of way for a better straight cut but what i'm going to use this demonstration for is to hang this guy right here in my manhandler this is a um, eight mil security film i'm going to use them as a curtain to place my film help me as a peel board peel them and put them on here without any help from an assistant or anything else no debris no bullshit no creases you can do that one same because although it might look small when you're doing ps window film it's very hard to peel as i did mention all these windows pre-cut your stuff first and lay them on all the windows these are all pre-cuts that way when you're already done with all the pre-cuts you know you have all your efficiencies clean up all your stuff out of the way um, unravel your manhandler like that right there I can pre-cut the film over there or I can pre-cut it here this is a way for me to pre-cut it if people say oh that looks dangerous blah blah then don't ever handle knives don't be a window tinner per se if you cannot handle knives and not cut yourself anyway so this is a uh, measuring device for my pattern so let me go ahead and go do my thing so my cleaner right here this right here I already cleaned all the windows, removed film from some of them. So the next step would be to go ahead and uh, pre-cut my film and lay them on the uh, manhandler. I'm just doing that so I can maneuver my hands. If you've seen me in a lot of the other commercial videos, this is going to be like 10 times a little bit more advanced than the other ones because of the manhandler and all these other variables that I can't control like the tar and all that. So clean it up after you're done with the application you can buy uh, black caulking of any good quality and then just lay a bead all the way around cover the lighting and whatever else right so we got this let's go ahead and walk this right here all the way across if you lubricate the window this one like with water you'll be able to um, move your go ahead and find my hook here here you go Move your hand across when you're pre-cutting. Here it is. And that'll be that. Simple as that. Right here in the corner, the 45, everybody creases the fuck out of it and whatever. Always kind of like do a pre-cut like that. And then kind of gauge yourself where it's at. 
later on eventually you learn how to where the corner is at like right there it's perfect right there we're gonna go from here to here I am conscious that right here is the edge of the glass um, more up there there is no glass so I'm gonna stop there here at the bottom do the same thing I think I showed her in other videos I uh, like this angle cut release some pressure go down there to the corner it's still requiring a little bit more Okay. all the way to the bottom there you go perfect 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 there in the corner right here on this side i can also feel that there is the edge of the glass so edge of the glass normally means a fuckload of contamination when we're going to lay it because it's just going to grab stuff from everywhere okay there it is I can see a couple of these things here. I will push them back in a little bit. So the only advantage here is that I have the bottom and the top, well, the bottom and one side, two sides that are give me less of a problem with my cut. And that's it. One click. I haven't clicked out or nothing. So I don't want to mess up any tinting. This guy right here. Bunch of dirty tricks, man, I tell you. Dirty, dirty dog. There's my hand. Just one click. There you go. And ride that cut right there. Okay. There it is. So now that you know what's going to happen, I'm going to do this number right here. Actually, I'm going to put this guy away because this is my thing right here. There you go. You already know how the film's going to go. It's going to go like that. And I'll put this guy right here. my peel board right there right before your eyes and so let's go ahead and work on this guy right here Lionel, ¿tienes navajas cuadradas? Pásame una, ¿no? Usada aunque sea The only reason we're slowing down on this project is because of the this right here. Just that, that's all. It looks like 995, but it's not. It's uh, just uh, some cement type of caulking. This window's already been cleaned, but just the shavings that I created when I cut it again, right? Okay, so put the guy there for a second. This guy, I'm gonna use him here, my hook, even there, so I can work with them. Okay, get my thing right here. This area right here, I'm just gonna do a very slow swipe. Those top areas, I can't really, not with that squeegee, I cannot clean to perfection. All the middle, yes, but the side, you're just gonna have to touch up real quick like that. And that's it. I'm not a, flat, uh, a fan of 
flushing the sides because this creates more water. And every installation, whether it be auto or commercial, I just do not like using that much water. Okay, so we're done there. My glass cleaner that I use for auto, same thing. I'm gonna, whatever small little debris is down there, I'm gonna walk them down like that. And we're pretty much done. Leave them here and uh, get our thing right here for a second. Okay, our manhandler. The reason I use 8 mil film, you can use other film is because it has weight, it's heavy. If you believe that you need a little bit more weight for whatever reason, there's some clamps, heavy duty upholstery clamps. You can put a clamp here and clamp there and you have more weight, but I don't need any weight as of right now. So when I'm, I'm done there, let me put this to the side and do my thing right here. Okay, licking my fingers. And there we are. There is our manhandler. Corner to corner. Always start in one corner. And if you're perfect in one corner and perfect in the other, if you had mathematics in school, you know that means that all the other ones are perfect. And there they are. I'll look to the bottom and there's absolutely nothing going on here. I'm gonna push this guy to the right. There you go. That way alleviate any pressure. And although this was a hand cut, it's very, very close. I mean, there is nothing but this tar caulking. And like I mentioned to you, I will see about putting a, a bead later on. So we're good there. There. And that's it. He's all wet and whatever on this side. I'm going to keep the smaller uh, pressure thing here right now. And we're going to do this real quick all the way across. Always handle the top first, all the way across. Always handle the top first, just like that. And this is where we have a lot of problems, either in the corners or the top with a lot of shit uh, coming on down. We have nothing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure it. I'm gonna watch one once more on the sides. There's nothing, okay? And check my side, there's nothing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center it, go to town. Betty Brown and then do that and if I had obviously um, one of my bigger commercial squeegees I'll be you know a little bit faster but I don't have them on me I think I have it in the shop somewhere but these are extremely manageable you can do as fast as you want I don't like to do fast I like to keep an eye on my install and make sure that everything's going on to perfection because I like to do everything once and be done so here just a little bit of squirt I'm not gonna get all you know with a lot of water in the hose no I don't want to do that okay so I'm pretty much done If you use a uh, squeegee is a very hard durometer um, you just do pretty much one pass and just do it consistently do it good don't do it too fast where you're gonna overlap your squeegees like so there you can see okay that's it nothing on the corners to be ashamed of or nothing Real nice and clean everything all the way up. Consistent, good cut there. Same thing there. And uh, very nice, very nice. 
And that's it. Uh, manhandler came through like a charm. I'm just going to dry them up at the end of the day, roll them back up. I use the same roll all the time for my commercial setting. When I'm doing either 60 or whatever, I can just unroll more of the window down, 72, whatever, and be done. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go ahead and do perhaps a door or something else. And to show you a little bit more about commercial tinning, GoPro, stop recording.